ladies, lads, and the wonderful in between, I'm here to talk to you about YouTubers and exploitation. Why am I talking about that? Well, let's just say this. In the recent week, two things have happened which I find to be rather disgusting. One more on a personal level, one on a general this is appalling. First, let's talk about what's been covered by Mudaha, Charlie over at Moist Critical, and Philip DeFranco. Technoblade, one of YouTube's greatest Minecraft creators, recently lost his life to cancer. And I'm not here to exclusively talk about the loss. It's heartbreaking. I wish the family well. I wish all the fans the best, and I hope that you find comfort in your memories. But the other part is this. Less than 24 hours ago, Thor Love and Thunder came out. Marvel Cinema's latest and greatest movie just got released, and it's already been spoiled for me. I don't enjoy going to the cinema. I can't go to the cinema without feeling like I'm gonna panic. I suffer from agoraphobia. I wait for them to come out on Disney+, Plus. I wait for them to come to me, and then I enjoy them at home. However, there is a small group of twats on YouTube who feel that it is relevant to spoil movie clips. Important clips within the movie. What you're seeing on the screen here, and yes, I have blurred them out because I don't want them spoiling to you, are a handful of what I have seen on my recommended page. Now, here's the bit which I don't like. One, the thumbnail legitimately is a dude recording it in the cinema. That is illegal, that is piracy, you should go to jail for that. Second, the titles in these videos spoil it. You don't need to even watch the video and it spoils it. I wanted to go to the cinema to watch the latest Harry Potter movie and I never did because YouTube spoiled it for me. Within less than 48 hours of it becoming coming out, it was all over my YouTube channel. Every possible important scene was spoiled. It happened with Multiverse of Madness, the latest Spider-Man movie. It's happening again with Love and Thunder, and it will happen again and again and again until something happens. Because these YouTube channels are exploiting new content that people have been waiting sometimes years for, and they are outright exploiting that, and it's disgusting. Now, I understand I started this with the conversation of Technoblade and the passing of him, but to me, this falls under the same umbrella. Exploitation on this platform, taking events, taking huge events such as the passing of an individual and the brand new release of a beloved franchise and ruining it for everyone for clicks, for views, for subscribers, it's the, in the same boat. YouTube needs to figure out a rule and we need to have a rule in place as a group of creators which states something along the lines of when a movie comes out, you do not talk about it on social media. You do not spoil it until it is released to the general population. I have agoraphobia. Leaving my house is a problem for me sometimes. Anything which takes Large crowds makes it worse. The cinema, for me, is a near enough no-go. I just can't, I, 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 it's ruining cinema for me. I can't go. I don't want to go anymore. What's the point when I literally the day after get fucking thrown tons and tons of clips? Like you see here, and I've fucking, I've, I've blurred these out specifically to not spoil it for you. So why is it? YouTube allows this on their platform. Spoiling is an issue on social media, it is a prevalent issue. Anyone spoiling is a scumbag. Much like you exploiting someone's death. YouTube needs to step up and introduce rules along the lines of exploitation. And all I'm gonna say is this, if you see it, report it, and YouTube, do something about it, because I am done. I am done having movies I've been waiting for getting ruined. Now it's the end of the video, can I thank everyone on my Patreon for supporting me over the last couple months. If you want to join my Patreon, then the link will be in the description down below. I really do appreciate it. Thank you everyone for all the support and thank you so much for a thousand subscribers. See you next time.